All right, what's going on YouTube? In today's video, we're gonna learn about calorie deficits and how they can be effective and help you reach goals if your goal is to either lose weight or uh, have a better body fat composition. <music> You might have heard of a calorie deficit, but never really had it explained to you. Uh, so real quick, I kind of just want to explain what that is. Essentially what a calorie deficit is, is consuming less calories than you would actually exert throughout the day. So let's say you got in a workout, you got in a walk, your 10,000 steps, um, and you burned 2,000 calories. Well, in order to be in a calorie deficit, you'd want to consume less than 2,000 calories. Um, the Deficit can kind of vary from, you know, 250 to 500 calories, but I probably wouldn't take it more than 250 to 500 calories in order to lose weight or lower your body fat composition. So essentially, all the calorie deficit is, is consuming less calories than you would exert throughout the day. So let's take a little bit more of a deep dive into what a calorie deficit is and how it's going to look. Um, we have this chart here, and we can see that it's kind of tapering off, and the chart's demonstrating our weight loss over time. Now, what's happening is as we're losing weight, it happens dramatically in the beginning. Within your first couple of weeks, whether you're trying to lose weight or gain weight in terms of muscle gains, you're going to see the most progress within the first couple of days, first couple of weeks, first couple of months. Those are what we refer to as newbie gains in the fitness industry. Um, and what you'll see is whenever you start in a surplus, you will gain muscle super quick if you're new to working out. And if you're in a calorie deficit, you'll do the same thing. You'll lose weight kind of quickly relative to you know later on in your weight loss journey. Um, and the reason for that is because eventually you're gonna lose a certain amount of weight up to the point where you hit maintenance calories. Now maintenance calories are gonna be breaking even on your daily expenditure versus your caloric uh, intake. So let's say that your goal is to lose weight. In order to do that, you have to be in a caloric deficit, and we know that now. You have to consume less calories than you're currently exerting. Um, so how does one do that, right? Um, basically, it's gonna be on a person per person basis. If you're teetering on morbidly obese, um, and you're having health issues because of your weight, then it's probably a good idea to consult a doctor, first of all. Second of all, um, you know, your caloric deficit may or may not be bigger than someone who's only looking to lose five pounds because they're a little overweight or, you know, they kind of want to fit into their old summer clothes, right? Um, so the calorie deficit can vary. And if you are morbidly obese, then you'll probably want to go to a doctor and consult them about a, how big the calorie deficit should be, and B, what you should be doing outside of eating um, to lose the weight, right? So yeah, you can be in a caloric deficit, but you may have to also expend more calories. But for the majority of people who are looking to just lose maybe five to 10 pounds over a duration of time, try this. Instead of going out and crash dieting, right? So eating chicken, broccoli, and rice all the time. Just start tracking your calories consistently and figure out what your maintenance calories are. There's different ways to do this. You can do it by tracking your calories or you can use uh, the TDEE calculators that are online. And if you use a TDEE calculator, it'll show how many calories you expend throughout uh, you know, the day and what you'll need in order to hit your maintenance calories, but in order to also lose weight. Um, but just kind of focus on your maintenance calories. If you have your maintenance calories, you can essentially, you know, subtract 250 to 500 calories. Or if you know you wanted to gain weight because you're trying to bulk or whatever, you could also add calories. But in this case, just for the sake of losing weight, let's say you have 2,500 calories in order to maintain your current weight. So my recommendation would be to take 250 calories off of your current uh, daily intake for your calories and by you know within a couple of months you'll see pounds come off um, this is gonna vary per person too because you know different people are gonna retain water and so they might lose more water retention and in that case uh, they might lose the weight a little bit quicker 
for smaller people, you might lose weight a little bit slower. So there's not gonna be a set time for you to lose that weight. What's important is being consistent and choosing a lifestyle that's sustainable for you. Um, for me personally, I can calculate my calories anytime I need to. Um, but for some people, it's easier for them to just eat intuitively because they know that they're getting too full and they just need to stop. Instead of being a glutton and you know over consuming, which I'm sure we're all guilty of because I definitely know that I am, especially with the holiday seasons and things like that. Um, so keep that in mind. But my recommendation, again, is to count the calories and just be in a slight deficit. And if you can sustain that, you'll eventually lose the weight that you're looking to lose. And this might mean that, you know, you have to start losing or start cutting 250 calories from your current expenditure and calories. But, you know, once you start to taper off, you might have to cut another 250 and another 250 until you hit your goal weight. But make sure that your, you know, weight goals are not only sustainable and realistic, but healthy. You don't want to take this to the extreme where you're losing too much weight because that would be counterproductive. So definitely keep that in mind. Hopefully you learned something today um, and hopefully you can use a calorie deficit to achieve your goals if your goal is fat loss or even if you know you wanted to be in a calorie surplus in order to gain weight and put on muscle and things like that. Um, you know, hopefully you learned a little bit about how calories work in this video. Um, so if you enjoyed the content, please like, subscribe, um, turn on the bell notification. And if you have any, you know, suggestions on videos that you want to see in the future or any type of curiosity on things that you've heard regarding, you know, diet, nutrition, um, or even workouts, definitely leave a comment below and let me know and I'll be sure to address that.